This episode is brought to you by the Mumu Investing app. Use the link pinned to the top comment to get up to 10 free stocks. And if you're a new investor, deposit any amount of money into your account and you're going to get five free stocks guaranteed. You're going to need an app on your phone where you can invest on the go anywhere. Might as well get some free stocks while you're at it. And if you already have an app where you already invest, get a new portfolio so you can have access to new tools. I'm talking level two data. I'm talking all of the different kind of unusual options activity data for free. Download the Mumu link. It's pinned to the top comment. But we got to talk about the beast, the big dog, the banger. I'm talking about AMC. Now, I'm going to give you my thoughts on it and what's going on. Now, here we go. AMC at the time of this recording is currently $15 a share. It's up 4% on a day. It's up 11% on a week. So we having a little bit of a run. And it's down 63% in the last year. Remember, it was just down almost 80%, 75% in that range down on a year. Many people who hear about AMC... They want to tell you, oh, man, the company is not a good company. They're losing money, this, that, and the third. And there are a billion different haters. This does not mean that you need to buy, hold, or sell AMC. I'm here to just give you the facts, and you be the judge. And I'm going to give you my honest thoughts on it. Now, here we go. I want you to just hear the bull crap that I've been hearing lately. And it's this. And this is from JP Morgan, who I'm starting to consider to be a little untrustworthy in this case. Check it out. They said that the box office estimates for the third quarter, not the quarter coming up, the next quarter for them is expected to be about 1.7 billion. And it might be 1.8 billion. They say it's gonna be in that range. And then what they went and did, which I find to be not genuine at all, is they said, this is a 35% decline from 2019 strong quarter of 2.8 billion. Again, who said this? JP Morgan. Let's break this down together. JP Morgan is telling you that yeah, AMC is doing great. They're going to kill it because Thor is killing it. The movie that just came out. The Minions movie is killing it. Just came out, right? Top Gun, that movie killed it. Just recently came out. They got other movies that recently came out too. All killing it. Jurassic Park. All of these movies doing great. The revenue was expected to consistently go up. They had to go all the way back to 2019 pre-pandemic before the world shut down, before there were many different sections in the world that are still shutting down and opening up consistently to this day, they had to bring that up and compare it to then. This is like this. Imagine that you were an Olympic runner, right? And for whatever reason, some misfortune came your way and you broke your legs or you lost your legs. You got new replacement legs and now you worked your way back up and now you back in the Olympics again and you're running and you're running. You ain't as good as you used to be but you got back into the game to the point that you elite and you back in the Olympics. And then they say, yeah, but you know, before they lost the legs, they're not as good as they used to be. Instead of giving you your praise for pulling out of that crazy situation, right? AMC made it mostly through the main hard parts of the pandemic, right? And many companies didn't make it through that, but they made it through and you can see the revenue going up. You can see the movies are still killing it, right? I just said Thor, Top Gun, Jurassic Park. You seen how Spider-Man killed it back in December. Movies, people still want to go to the movies. This does not mean that you need to invest in AMC. I want to be clear, but I just want to show you how all of the institutions, I'm talking JP Morgan talking about, it's still a decline of 35% from 2019. You mean, again, before the pandemic, before all this stuff happened in the world? So when you just hear who's, again, running the media, who's doing these analysis of the different stocks and things like that, you got to say, why are you so against it? And why is that? Because the big banks, the big financial institutions like JP Morgan, in my opinion, again, allegedly, supposedly, hypothetically, nobody's trying to get sued. But in my opinion, they are all just betting against AMC because they have massive short positions that they need to go green. They want. And then when it goes green, it's not enough. They want more green. You got to think of it just like this. Imagine that the world of money is an ocean and they don't want you to get a drop. And I'm on this video right here trying to help you to just see through the mess. And again, there's so many different other YouTubers who are doing the same, but I hope that they are being honest with you. Like, oh, we try to come on here and just keep it real and keep it raw because it's important to just sift through all of the mess. But JP Morgan, come on now, get out of here with that. Now, Thor, Minions, again, blockbusters, straight up killing it. We got an article from Investor Place that came out and said this. They said, Dear AMC Stock Fans, they want you to mark your calendar for August 4th. Why are they posting this article like this about August 4th? First of all, the earnings for quarter two is coming out and we wanna see how that's gonna look. It's expected to do 
pretty decent, right? But we want it to really be well. But remember, AMC, at the end of the day, as it stands, it's not about the fundamentals necessarily at this point. It's a short squeeze play, which means if the company was making money or not making money, that's not what it's about. The people who have invested into this have not put money that they weren't willing to lose. And let's simplify that. They only put in money that they are willing to lose so that they are able to diamond hand it. There are gonna be people who you might see make YouTube videos or tweets and all these other things. A lot of them are paid to be against AMC just to try to convince you to get out of it as if you are making some type of a mistake, as if you are being responsible because they want you to think that everybody who's interested in AMC is dumb or make no sense or don't know what they're doing, right? And being irresponsible, but they need to stop the cap. So again, August 4th, they put this article out to get you hyped about a date. Never get hyped about a date when it comes to AMC. You got to remember that. This is one of the most controlled stocks, meaning Wall Street basically got their thumb on AMC stock. And if they lift up or tighten up, whatever they want to do, they basically making it move how they want to move. And we already know what time it is with that. Now, we are fighting them by holding on to our shares. You don't have to. That's how I'm playing it. Now, the earnings is coming out and they said there's likely to be heavy trading on that day why is that important because we already know and i'll knock the camera my bad but we already know what time it is when we have heavy trading on amc oftentimes this is when we see again the high volume either run up or drop down usually the drop downs are because the institutions are just dumping shares into the market they're borrowing shares and again it's getting crazy how many shares they're borrowing, but then they sell them into the market and it drives the price down and the volume goes up. But on the other side of that, they actually have our buys actually get calculated in sometimes, not always, but sometimes. And then we see those runs like we're starting to see recently. This most recent run on AMC though is more likely than not smaller institutions, not the big ones who have the crazy short interest positions, but the small ones who really couldn't hang. They have to cover their positions and they're just trying to say, you know what, I'm done with this. It's too risky. The cost to borrow the shares is too high. So then that's how they plan it. They, they cover a little bit. So then you see a little bit of a pop, but this is not the mother of all short squeezes. This is just the smaller institutions covering just a little tiny bit. We already know what time it is with AMC. We already know what it can do. Nothing's written in stone, but we already know. So I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I hope you enjoying your day. Hit the like button if you appreciate the video, how I keep it real with you on here, keep it raw with you all of the time. And join the Discord if you want to be up on a technical analysis class. But if you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks, then stick it out in the kitchen and consider investing in the index funds. Again, I love y'all. Take care.